Welcome back there fam. I'm here to show you all what to look for for these center check hoodies. It was brought to my attention. I do legit checks. Remember $5 through my DM at Fresh and Flea. Hit it up. We'll get it started. And this one was brought to my attention. So I definitely had to shout it out. Tell everybody about it. It is the season. If you did not know hoodie season, whatever you want to call it. And these center checks are getting more popular by the minute. In this case, this one is a very irregular colorway. It is almost a tonal charcoal, crazy gray colorway. And the reason why I want to get into this is this tag alone but there is more to it than meets the eye and there are fakes among us so before we get into it make sure to like comment down below your experience with center check hoodies if you come across any fakes do you have any that you found and sold for a crazy amount of price i want to know comment down below if you could subscribe to the channel if you're liking the content now that's out of the way you got to look at the tag this is where specifically i want to show i've seen them in two ways usually it's the nike and the swoosh or just the swoosh and to the right side you're going to get the size not only that, I do check for stitching, but not always is it going to be 100% quality control. Wasn't that on top of it. Now, above that, I've seen writing sometimes, but that is on specific tags. This is where the bread and butter is. It's you're going to go look at the second tag here. The second tag, which usually says made in USA because it is vintage and it is Nike. You're going to see size, then tale, and then Tala. And this is where they mess up right here. And they'll usually double print Tale on it. And that's the only tag I've seen on these fakes of this. Other than that, there's one more thing to look for. And it's this center check. On this case, as you see, it's almost a tonal but it's not. You can actually see it here and it's got a profound look to it. It's also the size. Now the size on the fakes are going to be too small. And it's hard to say that considering if you don't know what to look for, you don't have a real one in hand, but you can physically notice compared to this, look at the size of the tag and look at the swoosh. You have to understand the change in size is very profound when you see it in person. Hopefully I will show an example, but that is pretty much what to look for. That is the bread and butter of everything. And I just gotta say, be safe out there. Don't get scammed because that is what I'm trying to prevent. This was a definite quick one, but it was something I did have to scream out about. So with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say, hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea. for watching.